Hey, what's going on guys? This is DJ Busby back again with another video on Busby TV and I want to welcome you guys to my workspace. This is where the magic happens. This is where all those mixes you guys love so much get produced. And this is the very first episode of DJ Busby's studio slash DJ room tour. I'm going to kind of show you guys a little glimpse of the development that has been happening over the years. It started about six, seven years ago when I started doing all of this, this whole DJ thing. And this is what it's developed into. I thought I've done a really cool job with the area as well as the help that I've had creating it, which I'll explain later on in the video. Literally when I started this, it was on a flimsy dining table, an old dining table my family had. The microphone stand had to be held up by two water bottles because the mic was heavy, so yeah. All that kind of stuff, that's what it, it went from there to here. I'm gonna give you guys an inside look on my studio slash man cave. You'll understand why I'm saying that in a bit. But many people have been constantly asking me, Buzz, what type of players do you have at home? What type of mixer? What do you run the show off of, etc. I'm gonna give you guys the whole inside on my studio. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Let's start this DJ room tour. I'm gonna go from the left side of the room and move towards the right. Over here we got the Canon MX320 printer, which prints whatever I need printed. Over here I got a notebook in case I'm not feeling to type out my notes. I write down all my ideas in here. All those little golden eggs, all the mix ideas, etc. Down here we got a little cabinet I purchased from Staples, which I find is quite awesome. Keep a bunch of crap in here. I don't even remember what's in here, but you can pause the video and take a look. Got a bunch of wires in this one and one of my favorite products in the whole studio which is this little rugged hard drive. This in particular is the 2 terabyte lacy rugged hard drive which I could drop it from about this height to the floor which I'm not about to try but I could do that and it should be okay. At least that's what's advertised. Got a bunch of cables and whatnot, CDs, DVDs and yeah down here which is locked up. All of the SWC notes, like Sun Shower, Wind Fets, whatever come, you can see all that. So yeah, gotta keep my stuff organized. Got a little garbage here, don't need to explain what that does. Got some hand sanitizer here, you can never be too clean. Clean off the LCD screens and whatever I have, the computer screen. Got a phone here. I purchased this Novation lock key. I wanted to try and get into beat making as well as remixing and editing. I literally purchased this about four months ago and I haven't even, I've played with it once. But this is definitely next step. I'm going to eventually learn this thing and you guys will start seeing some buzz beats very shortly. Over here I just have some stuff to keep pens, highlighters, my cleaner cloths, sticky pads, USB, uh, SD card, an extension port, Got the SWC Lineman Cup here, can't forget that, always got to stay hydrated. Got some wristbands here, congratulations to the lucky people that won those, you're going to see who you are at the end of the video. Over here I got the USB 3.0 extension port which gives me 10 extra USB 3.0 inputs, 
and there's one extra one there, the orange one, which is for your cellular phone and it gives you the fastest possible charge. So you can never have too many inputs. Always good. Over here I got some light up dancing speakers which I got at the source. And let me see if I can show you guys what they do. Yeah, crazy, right? Dancing speakers, the source. You might want to grab yourself a pair if you like those. I think they have more expensive ones. These ones go for about 30, 40 bucks. I got them at 20 on a Boxing Day sale last year, so Boxing Day, just look out for their flyer. Uh, also, this screen, I purchased this. This is the HP Pavilion 23BW. Don't know the complete specs on it, but obviously it works, and it's been working for about two years. This beast over here, I want to thank my friend Pins, who basically built this from scratch. So he bought all the parts you see inside, not all the little fine parts at the back, but like all the different uh, CPU, the fan, whatever, these cords, he purchased and he pieced it all together to make this beast. If you guys saw the laptop that was running the radio show before, it's. I'm going to see if I could find it and post it. You'll probably see it somewhere up here. It was literally breaking and the laptop almost broke in half. I had to keep it stationary on the table, run the laptop to this computer monitor, and play the show like that. And the thing was ridiculously slow. So thank God for this thing. This is a beast. Everything I do on this computer is extra fast because of whatever pins put in here. So thank you pins for your contribution. And this whole thing is sponsored by Soka Warrior Crew. What else do we have here? Over here we got the Logitech K330 keyboard, which I got on a Boxing Day sale with a mouse for 35 bucks, I believe, plus tax. I ended up getting rid of the mouse, but I kept the keyboard because it does what I needed to do. There are better keyboards out there. But in terms of the mouse, I decided to upgrade and go pro with the Logitech MX Master. This thing is crazy. I got it, I think it was 120 but it's wireless, it's got extra functionality, extra buttons, and it works well with editing programs, which I'm always on. Ever since I got on stuff like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Audition, those kind of things, this has been a lifesaver. So you might wanna check it out if you're into those kind of programs or any editing kind of programs. So yeah, the dancing speakers, got some more Logitech speakers, again, a Boxing Day sale. And right here above the workstation, I've hung my diploma as well as my graduation picture just as a sort of motivation to keep going, keep pushing. Anytime I'm feeling down or feeling lazy and not motivated enough to continue or finish any of my projects, I just look right back up here for a few seconds, tell myself I could do this, and then I'm back to work. So yeah. Over here, this was like my first monitor ever that I've ever had or ever owned before like well i should say first flat screen monitor because i used to have those big box ones but this is the first flat screen one i've ever had the hp pavilion f1703 this is just just the old piece of junk which i use to map this laptop and whatever is playing to here so whenever a dj is playing on the mix show i could see and obviously host from here so i don't have to be standing beside them to watch the screen so that took a bit of research, but you could research it yourself. Down here is a very cool thing I found on Amazon, which you could see along the desk, this white strip. And what this thing does, powers it on. And it's an LED strip I have going all around my desk and there's different settings which could change the colors. Yeah, yeah, cool, right? <laughs> so yeah, and uh, speaking about the desk, before I put that strip on, I purchased this desk at Ikea. I'm going to purchase the link down below because I don't remember the exact name of the desk, but I love it. So spacious to put all my stuff on there and more. Yeah, nothing more than needs to be said. Underneath the desk, there's even more cool features, which I'll get to in a moment. But let me turn off this light so it's not distracting me so much. Over here, I have this microphone, the Electro Voice. This is basically the standard when it comes to radios. Again, it's not cheap by any means. This was, I think, anywhere from four to five bills. But this is like the standard you'll hear on all the big radio stations. 
And coupled with the mic, I have the Rode mic stand, which is like a big boom arm. So I could take this and yeah, move it to this side. When I'm DJing here, I could have the mic there, or when I'm hosting, I could just put it there. Pretty cool thing, has amazing quality, so all the ads I record my voice on go out of this mic. And it's a condenser mic, so you could research what that means, but if you don't know already, but it does the job and makes my voice sound extra good. Over here we got the Behringer Xenix X1222 USB mixer. So like here is the microphone. Here is the main audio. So when I'm playing music from the players or my laptop, the audio comes through here. And then the microphone is, complete, is a completely separate channel. Over here is like when I'm doing phone interviews, I would turn it up. I have a cord here, which is an auxiliary cord that I plug into my phone. And all of you could hear whoever it is I'm radio interviewing. I've interviewed people like Ricardo, Drew, Stiffy, Skinny Fabulous, bunch of other people on the mix show, but yeah, the quality is pretty clear when it comes to that. This is a USB powered device. A lot of people don't recommend it, but at the time I purchased it, this was a lot more in my price range. I think it was two, 300, but you could find times of change. You could find auxiliary inputs or outputs, which you can get better quality off of and you can get a better result. But personally, no problems here. It's worked for me. I've gotten pretty good quality out of it, so you could try it for yourself if you would like. This over here is, I got this literally right before Serato got six samples in their software. You see that SP6? That's basically this. This is a sampler. Down here we have an input. If I don't break this thing. An input for an SD card. So you take this out, put it in your computer, load all your samples onto it, plug it right back in. Should take a few moments to load. Once it loads, yeah. You got all your samples on there. Volume control. You got a little, a few effects controls. You have different banks. What I mean by that is it goes A, B, C, D, E. So A, you have 12. B, you have 12. And as you can see, it says A slash F. Right, so when you click it again, and it's blinking, that means it's on F. So you got 12 more now. So you do the math. Yeah, that's how much samples you have in this beast. So honestly, I don't see a problem with the six samples that Serato gives you. But if you want more and you like going crazy with it, yeah, if you like going crazy with it, definitely check that out. This is a mic I have for any guests I have passing through. It's not plugged in right now, but you get the points. Little mic stand I found at Long and McCade. This, just some old headphones, Stanton. They're not too good. They're actually breaking on me now. I gotta buy new ones, but yeah. Just the headphones for the guests until I get new ones. This thing right here, love it. It's for the mix show mainly and especially when I have a guest, this is perfect because I get to hear everything that's coming out of this, which is the entire master box. I get to hear it as a person hosting the show and it's basically a headphone splitter. So there's four different headphones that can go in here. Actually, no, there's eight. Eight different slots which could go in the back here and if I'm listening as the host, I could plug in another, another port and the guests could listen to everything as well. And I could turn on the volume in the whole studio. So love how that works. Let's move on. Actually, no, before I move on to this side, down below, as you guys saw earlier in the little preview at the beginning, or I'll just post it somewhere up here again. Cable management was ridiculous. I had cables hanging all over this place and I managed with the lovely items that I bought at Ikea to put all the cables hanging off of these little things. So if you're looking for any cable management ideas, this is perfect. And to go even further, what I did, let's take a look all the way down here. Hopefully you guys could see it. I used some 3M tape and put a big power bar right under the table and then hooked my cords all up there and a 3M tape could hold about five pounds, so that's a lot less than five pounds, but all the plugs go into that power bar, which is 
taped up there. That's how I do cable management. Cleans up the look a lot. The only thing is the overhead lights are shining down on those cables, but that'll be fixed later. You guys may see some changes later on. Anyway, back to the setup tour. For this portion, I want to give a big thanks to my friends Malcolm and Pins for helping me out in here. So you guys are going to hear, first of all, let me show you. You're hearing my voice, right? Watch when I walk in this place. Alright, you guys hear my voice now, right? Yeah. So that's basically what it does. It kills the sound and makes you sound a lot better when it comes to recording your vocals. It's just a regular little room, like a closet. Built a window here so I could be in contact if I was producing from the outside or wanting to talk to the artist or whatever case the case is. Um, the walls, just some regular plywood as boards. Um, inside of that we have some soundproof material and the walls behind this are soundproof as well, as well as the ceiling. But as you can see from the ceiling up here, there are those little acoustic foams which I purchased a box of like 18 this size, it was 18 different uh, acoustic foams about that size and that was about $200. The equivalent of that is literally all of this wall, which is more than what I need. That costed me maybe like 40 bucks because, well, if I bought the soundproofing, it would have been more like a hundred, but I had a friend who hooked me up. Sheldon, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, half the price. This could have only covered up maybe this wall and this wall. I know you guys can't really tell because it's all black and the light's kind of affecting it, but yeah. You might want to check this option. I'll post a little description about how to do something like this in yours. But yeah, obviously, like stuff like this along the walls, I would like cleaned up. So I'm probably going to have to find something to align the edges of the wall and have a better look instead of the wood po poking out and you want more presentation in your room, right? As opposed to just a regular studio. But yeah, that's it. More developments will come. I'm going to do another video like this next year. So you'll see how things change over time. This area of the room is where all the magic happens. All the mixes I put together, the mix show, this is where it happens. So over here I got a big, I think it was a $600 case, but this saved my life one time. This table, somebody didn't put it together properly. Whole thing collapsed on the floor, but because it was in this case, everything was okay. Thank God for that. So in a way, the $600 was worth it because if these things broke, then yeah. But the problem is, it weighs, this whole thing weighs about 120 pounds. So I could never really pack this up and carry it by myself. I always need help from my dad or my friend who is around, who's around or whatever the case is. And this is where the magic happens. All those mixes you guys love so much, the mix show all gets generated from this area of the room. This right here is the Pioneer CDJ 800. I would consider this the low end model of the CDJs. But this in general is what you're going to see anytime you go out to a booking or wherever you end up playing. This is most likely what you're going to see. This gets the job done. This does what it needs to do or what you need it to do. They have more expensive jog wheels, which you're paying an extra five, six hundred to make this go a little faster, to have a few other extra buttons that, which to me are more luxury features and you don't really need them. But yeah, I would recommend these, especially if you're starting out. But I have a better recommendation for if you can't afford, I think this was like almost $1,000 for just one of these, and there's two of them. So yeah, I have a recommendation later on for something that if you don't have that much money. Uh, I got the Beats headphones here. These are good. A lot of people hate on them, but I don't mind them. I like them. They have a lot of bass, and I like my bass. So it's all about that bass, about that bass, about that bass. This, yeah, as mentioned, same thing. On the Pioneer CDJs, I put the dicers. DJs usually like to put them up here on their laptop, but I put them here. I like them here because I like having all my controls down here. I don't necessarily like to have to keep going up to my laptop. And the only reason I got these, these as a pair, were about a hundred bucks. So I'm sure the price has gone down. I believe I got them two years ago. But the reason I have them is because like this, one to five, as you know, maps one to five on your keyboard. 
And when you're lining up your songs, it's ridiculous to have to press it and like jam your keys on your keyboard and it could wear and tear your keyboard. And when you go to Apple, they're not gonna be too kind when it comes to pricing. So I prefer to bang on these cause they're made to like literally, I could be doing that and they'll be okay after that. Mixer I got here, can't remember. I think it's the 600 or the 800 mixer. Again, I think this is the lower end model but it works one of the one of the ports on here ended up giving out this one i think it ended up giving out on me this one of the sides ended up bleeding which means if i were to cross fade to this side then you could still hear this side like a little bit of this side so i basically had to get it replaced which costed about 75 bucks and i had to unscrew this this pop out pop in so that was pretty cool Otherwise, if you spill water like up here, it's probably gonna cost you a lot more to fix. But in general, this thing's pretty cool. I like it. What else we got? Got the iPad for watching Twitter and stuff whenever the show is going on. I got my power bar to charge my phone during the show, just in case I don't have a port to plug in there. Uh, over here, you guys might be wondering what this white box is. This is again for cable management, so. Uh, Anyway, you guys get the idea. Cables run in there, all like the more excess of cables are wrapped up and put in this box. It's wicked, keeps everything kind of clean. I gotta work on cable management a bit more, especially back here. I like having everything wrapped up nicely and hidden, but it's all in progress, right? Over here, got my laptop 15 inch MacBook Pro 2011 model. And recently, I went and got myself one of these keyboard covers. Oops, yeah, one of these keyboard covers. This is the main keyboard, put the cover on, turns it red. Cool, awesome. We also got this. I bought this, I'll put the link down here. It's 12 inch skins. And you basically send them a Photoshop file, which they give you a template of. You fill out the template, you send it back to them and it costs about $40 US after shipping and tax. That's about 80 bucks Canadian. But to me as a DJ branding is everything, every, every, everything. Sometimes people will say, well, why do you have this? But sometimes photographers will take photos from like this angle of the DJ and the more branding you have, the better, right? So it comes with this part. I believe this is just the, um, the under keyboard area, that's what it's called. And you could design it however you want. This was just the way I designed it in Photoshop. And then, when you close down the laptop, this is the main skin. Right here you can see my logo. I did this design, which is pretty cool, but you could design yours however you want. I wanted to wait to get this. I wanted to wait till I actually got my logo finished. That's why I never had one before. But you could always just get your name in regular impact prints going along the screen and put your information down here wherever you want. It's up to you. I think this is cool. When you're playing out and DJing, the crowd is looking at the DJ. They're always going to see your laptop and they'll see your name, etc. So that's pretty awesome. I would recommend getting one once you have a logo. And even if you want to get one before you have a logo, it works out. This is the cord I use to connect when I'm doing the show to connect my laptop to this screen so I can see it over there. It's basically this cable, this input to this input and an extra cord to go into that, into that computer. That computer is really old. I wouldn't recommend that one, but you can go and search up any regular monitor and get one for yourself. Over here was the option I was talking about. I'm going to show you guys what's in this. I don't want to take it out right now, but you'll see right here what this is, which is the DDJ SX2. This is basically this. Plus this, I didn't even show you guys this. The Serato box I have down here. Where is it? Yeah, the Serato box, SL1. I've had that since, since I started, so about five, six years now, and all of this, minus the laptop, players, mixer, Serato box, this together, let's just say at the time it costed about four or five grand. This is the exact same thing and it cost $1,200 plus tax. Had I known about this, 
Obviously, I would have got this, but this came out after I got all of that. Not mad about getting all that because that's basically the industry standard and that's what's in all the clubs. But if I had to choose right now and if this is more just a hobby for me, I'm going with this. They have a step up to this, which is the SZ model, and that costs about $2,200, $2,300 plus tax. And that's literally this the SZ model. That's the exact same thing. These jog wheels, this is a jog wheel. These are a little bit smaller than that and you don't get the better you don't get as good of a feel out of it but the sz is the exact same you'll get the same feel out of the jog wheels the same scratching etc so you might want to check that out but moving along over here got the xbox one which couples as a blu-ray player and I watch all my movies off that back here i got a hard drive five terabyte and i got all my friends to put legal movies onto the hard drive and I watch them off the Xbox. So that's pretty awesome. I could sit here and watch as many movies as I want. Here's just an external hard drive for games, extra games. Here's all my games. I was sitting there thinking to myself the other day what kind of games I have and literally every single one of these games has a gun. Don't know if I have a problem but maybe I just like gun games. Could check out some of these and they're wicked games. I'd recommend pretty much all of them. Yeah, pretty much. Xbox One, I love it because it's a multimedia system. Everybody says, eh, PS4, that's the better. Yeah, but this is a multimedia system. I could watch TV. I have the cable box down here. Big up Cavalier, his contribution to the studio. Cable box down there hooked up to the Xbox. So I could say, Xbox, go to TV. And it literally, you see? Yeah, mad cool, right? So yeah, this thing is compatible with 3D as well as the projector, and that's why you saw these glasses up here. These are actually two 3D glasses that came with the projector. Plug in the micro USB down here, you literally turn on the glasses, pair them, and it acts as 3D. It's freaking awesome. Trust me. Looks better than the theaters. Anyway, moving on. Subwoofer. Lining chair. This thing folds up and goes in my trunk in the summer, but since it's cold, I just keep it down here. Just a random table for any things that, that are needed. This thing's wicked. It's a heater that like it heats up this whole studio and I love it. It's not actual fire. It's just a heater, but it's wicked. Cold. When it gets cold, this is the perfect thing to have. The right speaker, the huge screen, the center speaker. The adapter, because it has a little remote where I could, yeah, freaking cool. Anyway, down here, this was this was the main seating slash cot for the projector, but got one of these, and this is flipping awesome. Basically, three reclining cinema chairs that have little cup holders, reclines, has lights, etc. Very comfortable. Very wicked. Gotta get new pillows, though. These are, like, from 19. I can't even remember how long. Again, the fridge, the microwave. And over here, we got all the cups I've got from all the parties I've been to. I think I have more, but these are most of them. You can see all the party names on them. This one's the coolest one. Let me show you why. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Coolest for sure. But big up all the rest of these parties. Awesome parties, awesome cups. Everybody was creative. If you want one of these, link me. Might have a couple more, but next year we're most likely doing these again because everyone loved them. Some extra bottles. I don't have a drinking problem, I promise. This is not just me. This is all the friends I have coming over. And yeah, there you have it, guys. So that's my studio area. That's my setup area. This is where I get things done, where I relax. And that about does it. That wraps up the DJ Busby studio slash room setup tour. This is my workspace. These are all the ideas I've come up with over the years, what I've put together and what works for me. What works for me might not necessarily work for you, but you could like some of the things I've incorporated in my setup and put it into yours. One thing I absolutely do not want and I can't stress enough 
is for young DJs to go out and purchase everything they see here, feeling that this is the standard. First of all, this is not the standard, absolutely not. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Somewhere in between and it's still growing, but I really stress I don't want you guys going and blowing a set of money, especially if you're now getting into DJing and it might just be a hobby. This is not the standard. Do your own thing. There's stuff that you can buy for a lot less that produces the exact same stuff I'm producing. So do your research, get stuff done. And before I forget, the last video I mentioned there would be some prize giveaways. I am going to post the winners right here when I'm done editing the video, so you should be seeing a box here with who won prizes. Thank you all for entering the last competition, and the new competition is for this video, and the first prize is for some of the DJs locked in. So I'm going to be giving away one of these cool Pioneer DJ lanyards, which I'm rocking on my keychain. You're going to want this, so in order to win, like, subscribe, comment, Tell a friend. That simple. DJs do it. Comment below with what you liked in my setup, what you didn't like, what you would recommend for me, and if you have any questions, again, drop a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Another episode of Busby TV is on its way soon. Christmas season is almost upon us. Thank you again for watching. Peace.